All right, and welcome everyone to Asmodea City. And my name is Lord Gearth, and I'm going to be your Jungle Cruise director on this little voyage uh, around the Foundry Virtual Tabletop. We're going to talk today about, uh, and this is a suggestion that came from a player, and uh, and I'm going to give a shout out to Frank. Frank's a new player in one of our adventures. He asked a question that I thought was really relevant, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to make a video about this and uh, make it even cooler so that uh, it's helpful. So we're going to talk about how to essentially automate ability throws in your game so that you don't have to jump back and forth between the player sheet and, and the chat log. And uh, I mean, you know, going back and forth, especially uh, if you're in the middle of an encounter, it just slows everything down uh, for the players and it slows it down for the DM as well. So let's talk about how to automate ability throws right after this. All right, so again, big shout out to Frank. Uh, Frank is uh, one of our newer players, uh, and he asked a question that had to do with uh, how to more simply access the ability to uh, do some of these throws during uh, the game rather than having to go back and forth and back and forth uh, into your player character sheet. So here's the problem, okay? Let me show you the problem first. And, and this part is gonna be mainly for players, uh, and, and then I'm going to show you a couple of different options, but the last option I'm going to show is for DMs. All right. So here's the problem. We are now in the middle of an encounter, right? So now we got an encounter going on and, uh, obviously Frank's not even part of this encounter, by the way. Uh, but there's an encounter going on. And so let's say, let's say Frank is part of it. And, and then I call as a DM, I say, okay, throw me a strength ability check. So he's got to come over here into the actor's uh, directory. And by the way, these icons, if they look different to you, are because I'm using a module called D&D 5 UI. Uh, so it just makes it look a little different, but they're all the same uh, items. So he's got to come into his uh, player character sheet, and then he goes to his strength, he clicks on that, he does his ability check, and let's just say it's a normal, and he rolls. But now he's got to go back over to the chat log to see what it is, uh, ultimately, with all of his modifiers, bonuses, you know, uh, effects, damage, uh, whatever it is. Uh, so that's going to change. So he's got to, he's got to go to like three different places just to make that strength check happen, right? That's the problem. And how do we kind of streamline this, this whole, uh, idea? So now you can see, uh, that there's a couple of empty macro slots down here at the bottom uh, of the screen. And if you haven't used macros, trust me, you're going to want to. Uh, and you'll notice also at the far right side of this bar, there is a number one. That's because you can, you know, have two, uh, a third bar, a fourth bar, and a fifth bar. Uh, this can be modified by modules a little bit, but in general, you start out with five bars. All right. So I'm just going to go to this fifth bar so I don't mess up anything on his side. I'll make that a little bit easier. So one thing that I can do, and here's the first option, is I can make the player sheet available using a macro. So how do I do that? I come up here to my actors directory and I just click on Frank. I drag it straight down over here and I'm just going to put it number one. So now I can go back to my chat log. So I don't have to worry about that. And I can now just click here and boom, I'm now in my player sheet. So now I can do my little strength check. We'll do this really quick. And I just want to make sure that you see that it does work well. And that's not a good one, Frank. Sorry, buddy. Uh, that strength check ain't going to do much of anything. All right. So let's go on to the second option. And the second option is, and this is for players, uh, and, and the DM part will come in a second, but as a player, you can create macros on your own. So I can come down here and I can click, and I'm just going to do this in spot number two here. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to open up this new macro option. Now, unfortunately, as a player, you don't have the option to be able to change uh, this icon that's here, uh, although it's probably appropriate that it is a die, which is great. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this to, let's say, strength roll. All right. Now, we need to select instead, you have two options here in this little drop down for type. 
uh, you've got script and you've got chat. Chat, you can automate a message, and I'm not going to go into that right now. That We can deal with that later, but this is going to be a script. All right, so we're going to select script, and then here I'm going to paste in this piece of code. Now, I, again, I will leave this in the description below. Uh, I'll leave all the information for you down there so that you have the ability to, to copy and paste and put it in for yourself. All right, so you'll notice that this is a, 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 a command that is token.actor.rollAbility, and that A has to be in caps. If it's not, you know, if that A is not capitalized, it will not work. And then, obviously, in parentheses and quotes, we've got a three-letter representation of what we want to, to roll. Now, in this case, it's strength. If I wanted to roll dexterity, I could change this to DEX. There we go. And now it's a dexterity check. Uh, if I wanted a uh, charisma check, I would do CHA. If I wanted a wisdom check, I would do WIS. You get the picture, right? Uh, so it's basically a three-letter representation of our, oops, I want to make sure that's right, uh, uh, a representation of, of what ability we're trying to throw. So in this case, obviously, we're going to do strength, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just going to go ahead and save this macro. And now when you hover over it down at the bottom, it says strength roll. So here's the cool part. So now I'm in my encounter. I'm in the middle of battle, and the DM says, roll me a strength ability check, would you? Or what a saving throw, whatever. So I just click it. Boom, it pops up. I had ability check, I had normal, and voila. And again, that was mediocre there, Frank. You need to do a little better, buddy. Sorry. Uh, but you get the picture. That makes it so, so easy uh, for you to do that. So, And you can put them wherever you want in your you know, uh, bar down here at the bottom. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Now, let's talk now as a DM, shall we? So I'm going to switch over to uh, my Foundry server. It's here. And let me do that uh, on my side. There we go. Okay. So now we're in the Foundry server. Now I'm in as the DM. All right. So uh, again, what I did is I made available to my players. And by the way, you can go here down at the bottom left corner. You can click on the little folder icon and you can see all the different macros that you've got across your entire server. I got probably three dozen of them or more. Uh, but what I did is I created this folder at the top here. And uh, inside that folder, I created all of the throws for all of the different abilities. So now all the characters have to do is just take them and drag them down to their macro bar. And the cool part is, is that I made the little icon for them a red 20-sided die, which, you know, is just me doing that. Um, and I made it nicer for them, so it kind of looks different. And uh, so they can drag it down. Now, let's prove that. I'm going to go back to uh, my my player browser. And let me go and, and click on that on my side because you want to be able to see it. All right, here we go. And uh, so now as a player, and let's get rid of this, this one here. I'm going to delete. By the way, uh, this is important. If you are a player and you have created a macro, you can delete the macro, which deletes it. Delete, deletes. It, go, it goes away. It's no longer available. It's not even saved, right? Or you can just remove it, in which case it's saved in your macro folder, but it's just not being shown in your macro bar. Uh, and, and obviously, you can edit it as well. So in this case, since it's his, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And I'm also going to delete this one. And it doesn't delete his player sheet, obviously. It just deletes that macro that, that goes to the player sheet. All right. So now... Uh, what he can do as a player is he can click on this little folder here and he sees, oh, there's ability throws that are right inside there for him to do. So now he just drags it down and we'll we'll do this charisma one and then we'll do a constitution one and we'll, uh, we'll just put those there for right now. And again, super simple. They just click on it, ability check, normal, and there you go. And ooh, not a very good one either. Frank, you got to get better at your roles here, buddy, even though I'm in hacking your account at the moment. <laughs> All right. So those are the three different ways. And for more information about uh, how you can do some of these things and more data, see some of our other uh, playlist items that we have here on our channel as well. Also, uh, again, I'm going to tout our, our Discord community because it's growing. And if you have questions like this, and, and this is where this came from, uh, this is why we did this video, and thanks to Frank for uh, for bringing it up because I think it's a, an awesome option for a lot of our players. Uh, this is where it comes up. So go to discord.asmodia.com, and you can join into our community there 
Uh, and you can even subscribe to us and help us out to grow that community as well. All right, that's it for today, folks, uh, for this video. Uh, kind of a short one-ish. And uh, yeah, we're under 10 minutes. Well, well sort of under 10 minutes. And uh, we're going to uh, bring back a, a lot of other videos for you. I've got tons of videos that are that are coming out. So again, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button down at the bottom. And uh, also make sure you're notified of new videos as they come out. Uh, and uh, again, if you can, you know, comment below. Tell us what you think about this video or if we missed something, if you have a suggestion or a question or what have you. Feel free to share that information. We'd love to hear it. So as always, when you're adventuring, be careful, be safe, and be kind. Peace.